Welcome back. The Russia-Ukraine war continues as Ukraine is putting the squeeze on Russia on several fronts, including the courtroom. Charlie Degada has the latest from New Ukraine. A grim tally of the human costs on both sides of Putin's war. Recovery teams have been collecting the bodies of Russian soldiers from the battlefield. Body bags loaded onto refrigerated boxcars for their final journey home, if the Kremlin agrees to take them. While those captured now face a courtroom for war crimes. The trial of 21-year-old Russian Sergeant Vadim Shishimarin got underway in the capital, accused of shooting an unarmed 62-year-old man on a bike and leaving him for dead. Ukrainian troops have successfully driven back attacks in Ukraine's second largest city of Kharkiv, but shelling to the north of the city killed two civilians and destroyed a humanitarian center. Everyone was preparing for breakfast as usual, the relative of one victim said. Then there were explosions and I fell to the ground. When I ran there, he was lying at this place and both of his legs were gone. The Russians have shown no mercy at the steel plant in Mariupol, continuing to pummel what's left of the facility, while hundreds of Ukrainian fighters remain trapped below with no way out. Thousands of ground forces in Mariupol have been redeployed. These Russian-backed separatists seen on the move north to the eastern Donbass region, where the conflict has become a bloody stalemate with casualties climbing by the day. The Ukrainian military released drone video purporting to show destroyed pontoon bridges and battered Russian tanks and armored vehicles that had tried to cross a key river. What? Unable to pierce through Ukrainian defenses, the Russian military has been unleashing artillery and airstrikes, raining down on civilian areas like this neighborhood in Bakhmut we visited. Furious residents demanding to know why their homes were targeted and why they weren't getting any help putting their homes and lives back together. Stick with us. Devin Fry is here with the latest in the world of sports.